Hello everyone, welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. This is Cassie. Today we are going to be do, doing some hot foiling. We're going to do that with our beautiful beta from Trinity Stamps. And you can see I have my machine sitting over here. We're going to go ahead and turn that on and get that started. And then um, you'll see the lights all turn on. The one is red because it's working on getting hot. So let's talk about the rest of the things we're using. We also have our Simply Sentimental Thanks and the matching dies. You know that's one of my favorites. And then we also have the Wavy hello stencil I love this one it's gonna be perfect for our background so um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of keep this to start at real time just to show you what we're doing I have my quick trimmer and I've pulled out some foil this one was a foil pack and I'm just kind of measuring my beta to see how big I need my piece of foil to be and I'm using like I said I'm using this quick trimmer this is super helpful if you don't like it to be all jaggedy which I do not just trying to cut it with scissors and you know using a paper trimmer does not work so uh, this little system works great I'm just gonna peel off this little sticker that holds the foil in place I keep that because I put it right back on when I'm done with it but I'm measuring out my foil and then I'll put this little plate on top and uh, I should have pulled the foil up a little higher but eh, it ends up working out just fine so I'm measuring it and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this little foil cutter and go in between those lines of this trimmer and like I said I should have gone down a little bit further um, with my my little clear plastic piece but I didn't so it's okay I'll just run that through real quick again and it's not hundred percent perfect but it's definitely better if I tried to cut it with scissors so that's gonna work out perfectly and then when the time comes we'll put that pretty side down and while that's heating up I'm gonna go ahead and get my stencil started we're gonna start with the first part so I'm just using some tape to hold that in place on the back of our waving hello stencil this piece was cut down to uh, four inches by five and a quarter and I've got some light blue ink that we we're blending on we're gonna I, I don't care about it being even I kind of want it to be uneven so in some areas it's a little darker and I bring that into the center and keep it kind of light in there too I like the variation in the color you'll notice that green light just turned on what that means is the plate is hot enough and so I'm gonna hit, hit the timer I put my beta on there already it didn't matter that it was already sitting on there you can't get your plates too hot that's I don't believe that's a thing maybe I'm wrong but I don't believe it's a thing uh, I'll get my second piece of the stencil ready and then I'll set that off to the side because my timer has now just gone off you'll see and what I like to do is pull the plate out so that leaves a little less room for error because if you're not careful you can smudge it you'll by heating up that foil heating up the plate and putting the foil on top and if I try to pull that out and it moves it will smudge that foil onto our cardstock so I try to just set everything down on top of it pull in my platinum six and then I'm gonna stick the two plates that come on uh, come with my hot plate system on top being careful not to shift anything and then I'll just slowly run this through my die cutting machine and it's not going to die cut anything it's just going to transfer that foil to my cardstock and the cardstock I used was just like a plain cardstock that I had in my stash all right I'll pull that out peel off those two plates and then I'll pick up my cardstock carefully and then I can slowly peel away the foil and you can see that it turned out really really nicely I may have a little bit of over foiling um, actually I don't think that I do but it worked out great so then I'm gonna pop that back into place my plate and let it heat back up again because I actually want to do an envelope and you can do this this was more of an experiment so same process and I have sped this all up because you've already seen this I'm just gonna put that foil down on top put my envelope where I want the image and do the same process now I didn't cover the foil completely where the hot plate is gonna go through so I'm gonna have a little transfer onto one of my plates but I'll show you how we can get that off of there see and that does bug me but I'll peel that away I do have a little over foiling but look you can foil on your envelopes as well so now you have these matching envelopes I'm just gonna use this really um, soft white eraser that I have very lightly and it can get rid of any of the extra over foiling I'm gonna try it on my plate it works a little bit but then I'm just gonna pull in some 91% isopropyl alcohol and that that does the trick that will get up pretty much all of it no harm no foul um, that stuff takes care of a lot of problems so yep and you know it really wouldn't bother your plate to keep it on there but I wanted it to be nice and clean 
Okay, so now I'm going to pull in the matching die that goes with our little beautiful beta, and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine, but if you use some tape, make sure that you don't go over the foil because that tape can pull the foil up. Setting all that off to the side, now we're going to go back to our stencil. So you remember I had put down my second stencil, sorry about that, kind of getting out of focus. I brought in some shark tooth, and I did blend too heavily in some areas, so it does squish underneath the stencil. The reason it does that is because pigment inks are a lot juicier than dye inks usually. And you'll see there's definitely a lot of uh, over stenciling, but I'm going to spray some of this shimmer spray on top. It's a frost sheer shimmer spritz and it just gives a little bit of a sparkle and you could just start over if you wanted to but I'm not one that usually likes to do that. I'll cover my mistakes and work with what I have just because eh, it doesn't really bother me. And I'm going to stamp out my Simply Sentimental Thanks using some black ink. I originally found a pink ink and then I just didn't like it next to our, our little fish so I decided not to do that. I stamped many twice and then I'm going to use our matching die to run this through my die cutting machine and pull out the word thanks. And then I'll, I'll cut out the word many. I thought I was going to use both of those, but I just decided to use the one trimming that down in my guillotine trimmer. All right, now I've got some black cardstock that is going, it's slightly bigger than my card panel. And so it's just going to have a little bit of black showing through. That's going to bring in that or make the thanks pop even more and it'll, it'll just kind of make it look like it ties together even better and just kind of checking out my placement here and I like that so I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of my beautiful beta and also my thanks and then we'll peel off that release paper stick down our beta he covers most of our inking faux pas there but you're not going to pay a whole lot of attention to that because I am going to add some embellishments of course Peeled off the release paper on our thanks and I put that down and then for the word many I'm just going to glue it down and then I'll pull in a piece of white cardstock that measures four or five and a half by eight and a half inches and I'm going to score that at four and a quarter so this is the size of an A2 card front or card base and then on the inside I'm going to stamp one of my favorite sentiments from that simply sentimental thanks a note of gratitude for all you do I have been using this one a lot now I will use my liquid glue to attach down our panel to our card base and I've got that nice little white border, nice little black border and then our fun little beta. And of course like I said embellishments so I've got my tidy tray, some crystal twilight and my pickup stick and we're going to put those down using some more liquid glue and once we are done with that that's going to finish off our card for today. I really do love how this one turned out. Foiling is becoming a favorite for me. It's so fun, so easy and I love the results. So if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And big, big thanks for all of you for watching, subscribing, all the things you do. I really appreciate all of you. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.